Mega Praise Ministries. We're out to reach the lost, to bring the lost sheep back home, to build a relationship between God and man, for the worship, the presence, the healing, the restoring. That's what it's about, the restoring of the homes, the restoring of the families, the healing of the bodies, to enjoy the, a relationship with the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. We love the worship. We love the outpouring of the presence of God. This is what this ministry is all about, Mega Praise Ministries, to see what that was that was lost. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, yes. praise the Lord, hallelujah. hallelujah. Come on, come on, everybody. Praise come on, let's bless the Lord. Hallelujah. This is, you know who it is, Pastor Manuel Johnson and Only the Truth. And as I always tell you every week, the good news is you do not have to be part of the bad news. Hallelujah. And I'm not part of the bad news. Ever since I got born again, I've been part of the good news. <laughs> Hallelujah. Why? Because I know which side wins. <laughs> the side I'm on, I'm on the side of Jesus. Glory to God. I have a very special program today. Very special program today. I have a special guest that the Lord has been raising up. And her name is Christina Givens. And many of you have heard of her. Many of you have seen her on the, on the Cross TV. You've seen her on the Juice TV network, uh, Umbrella over TBN. And we have her here today. And we're going to just ask her some questions about what's been going on in her life and with how, what God is doing with her. I am excited about that. And, you know, I had a chance to um, see her uh, last week in the studios, and I just... We just was just so blessed by how the Lord was just moving on her with through the Holy Spirit. You know, I don't know if you know this, but she has a powerful gift of prophecy, and uh, on her um, such a mantle. So I mean, we just stay tuned for a major treat. And and first of all, let's let's um, take it over here. And Christina, I just want to welcome you to Only the Truth. Thank you so thank much. You. Hallelujah! Come thank on, you. thank you, Jesus. Thank you for Hallelujah. having me. It's a high honor Hallelujah. to be here. She is, God is just using her mightily. He has such a wonderful, sweet spirit about her. And me and my wife was, was watching you a few day, uh, nights ago on, t on, on the television, watching some of your uh, music videos and oh, how the Lord was using you oh. in, in those areas. We're just getting blessed by it. Oh. Hallelujah. Oh. And we today, now I'm not going to have her sing live today. I, I want you to take a look. At a video and you know what I was gonna have her introduce it but I, I think I want to do it it's a it's a, a video called the other side amazing grace and right after that that video we're gonna start talking to her and we're gonna find out what the Lord is doing in her life and how how it's going to affect the body of Christ in a good way go ahead mr. engineer let's roll it the other side
Hallelujah, my God. Isn't that wonderful? The other side, amazing grace, such an anointing, and it gives us such a powerful message, such a powerful message. My God. Engineer, thank you. Hallelujah. On time. Now, Christina, you are right now the woman of the hour, and the, we want to... And they're watching us on Facebook, they're watching us on Instagram, they're watching us on this network and other networks. And I just want to let you know, for those of you who are just tuning in, I have Christina Givens with us. A.K.A. And Christy Given. Christy Givens. Oh A.K.A. Christy Given. Oh my okay. God. I, I, I'm, I'm, adding, I'm adding syllables to her words. It's all me. right. It's but okay. Christy, yeah. But you know what? I have, uh, we, me and my wife, we were watching a few days ago on 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 the TV, oh, on the internet, and we're watching some of the, man, this is, the Lord has just really used you, and it's wonderful because if, to me, if you reach the youth, you reach the world. Right. If you reach the youth, you reach the world. Right. And, and, I, and I see that. When you can get more accomplished, and most of you pastors are not going to agree with this, but I'm sorry, I've seen it with full evidence. You reach the youth, you can get more accomplished with the youth than you can the non-youth. If you don't believe me, ask the Lord in, in Moses in the wilderness. He got more accomplished with the other generation, second generation, than he did with the generation that came out of Egypt. Right. Got a lot more accomplished. Hallelujah. Not only did they enter the land, but they also subdued the enemy. Glory to God. So, but I don't want to start preaching. This is not a preaching moment, so I got to watch myself. We have one of our, our special, our, actually our assistant director, who's watching us right now. God bless you, Linda. And uh, we have a, she has a special question for you. And we're gonna, I'm going to ask you this right now. And one of the questions is, what inspired, right, what inspired you to write the songs that you have? Well, first off, um, it's such an honor to be here today. So thank, thank you for having me. Um, what inspired me to write my music was just the love of the Lord mm. and just just the desire to share the gospel with the nations and with the next generation. Mm. Um, you know, I really desire to be, you know, although I'm not perfect by any means, I just wanted to be that voice that could be a difference. And the Lord actually just gave me these songs. So mm. it's so interesting. Like, um, I'd be worshiping the Lord and a lot of the music I was listening to as a teenager would be like Hillsong United. Right. And I would get these melodies and, and like heavenly harmonies at even the age of 12. And I would just write them down and I would share them with my aunt. And my aunt would say, you're not supposed to be a secular pop star. You're a worshiper. Wow. And she would say, how do you have the doctrine in there and the melody, the harmony? She said, this is a gift from God. But mm. there was that tug of war between the world and then the worship. As we all, as um, we all go through. As we all know. And so I initially 
started writing worship at 12 and then I went into the pop industry and mm. then back into the Christian world where I fully gave my gifts to God. And, I, and at that point, I just said, Lord, I want to be fully used by you. I don't want to give my gifts to the world anymore. Wow. You are worthy of my wow. praise. You are worthy to be worshiped. And I just, I just, it clicked. I was just like, God, I, I just want to worship you. And I was so Glory honored. I was so honored that he would let me be his worshiper. Um, it reminds me of the scripture, Isaiah 6. But instead of saying, I'm a man of unclean lips, as Isaiah said, I feel like, Lord, I'm a woman of unclean lips. How can you use someone like me, a sinner like me? But it's like amazing grace. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound, who saved a wretch like me. Yes, yes. I once was lost, but now, now I'm, I'm found. found. Was blind, but now, now I, I see. see. Woo! And you know, one part I changed the lyric in with uh, Nathan Dantzler, uh, a Grammy-winning uh, engineer, and Joshua Silverberg, who's a, a songwriter, producer from Capitol Records. I came up with this idea, instead of a, um, you know, saved a wretch like me, a criminal no longer bound, I'm set free. Mm. And that Come on. is just truth. It's, it's God so loved the world, he gave his only son, that whoever believes will not perish, but have everlasting Ever. life. It's not our doing, it's the blood of Jesus. Come on, come it's on. It's by faith we're saved. And our, our actions reflect our faith, of course, but we're not perfect, we're just vessels. We're broken vessels that are being used by the Almighty God, which is so, it's such a high honor. I'm like, who am I, Lord? But wow. send me. Well, he's been sending you. He's been <laughs> I know, sending right? you, I can tell you that. Have you used, uh, also one of her questions was, have you used any of your songs on the Juice TV network? Yes. The video that you guys just saw was actually featured on Juice TV in their video blender. So if you guys ever watch, um, there's like different hours where they play like hip hop music, mm. like Lecrae, um, the 116 Click, Andy Mineo, Tadashi, some of my favorite hip hop artists, um, Montel Jordan, uh, Becca Shea. And then they have like a worship section, which is more like Carrie Joe Pillsong United um, and worship. And then they'll they'll put in new artists like me. Mm -hmm. So you might see it if you watch the, the the Juice TV network, which is Trinity Broadcasting Network's youth channel. Um, some of, some people don't even know about it yet, actually, which is interesting. And really? my passion is to spread the news through um, the airwaves. And so I always like to share about different you know platforms that are sharing the gospel. So I'm super passionate. I worked there with TBN for about seven years. Seven years. Um, but when they rebranded from JCTV to Juice TV, it was rebranded in 2014, so it's still kind of new for people. Okay, okay. Um, so if you guys are aware of Trinity Broadcasting Network, they have a youth channel called Juice TV, and that's where you can find the video, or right here on Manuel's yeah, show. Yeah, that's right. You can rewatch it. You can rewatch it. We'll be downloading on YouTube, and uh, right, many people are watching us on Instagram, Facebook, and there will be other outlets within 24 hours that we'll be airing this program because it needs to get out you're so sweet. it needs to get out oh you're my so god sweet. praise the lord another question my god i get full of questions if people want to ask me okay my beautiful wife i know you're watching mm, i love her so sweet. and she wants to know your born again experience okay how did it happen my born again experience. Yes. So I actually was raised in a Christian home. Okay. And I was, when I was two years old, I said, I have Jesus in my heart and milk in my tummy. I said that to my mom. Really? And wow. So I always was like, I guess I love the Lord even as a baby. Um, and my mom said in the womb, I was kicking to the beat of the music. So I think I had some worship in me in the womb. <laughs> so, um, but yeah, no, I, I grew up in a Christian home, but I, I always was like evangelizing, even in middle school and high wow. school. Everyone kind of knew me in middle school as a, as a church girl. Um, and then in high school, I did kind of have a little bit of a party side. I, you know, I was a social butterfly. I liked to, you know, be with everybody and go out to all the events. And I was a part of Christian club. I was president of Christian club at one point. And okay. then I did cheerleading and dance. So I was always very involved and always was a part of youth group. But there, there are those moments, and, and some of you might have that. You might be, you know, a Christian, but you still do things that are very maybe um, 
you know, contrary to what you want to do, which Paul writes about, you know, mm -hmm. the things that I want to do in my spirit, I, I don't do. And it's the war between the flesh and the spirit. Mm. And so there's different forces that come at us when we're living a Christian life. Come it's on, not easy. It's not an come easy on. walk <laughs> by any means. It is a glorious walk. It is a walk of suffering. It is a walk of um, unpopularity at times. Mm. But it is worth it because in the end, it is more valuable to be with the Lord and to be less popular That's right. than to be popular and not have God mm. or to be rich and not have God. Mm. Even the Bible says, what is it for a man to gain the whole world but lose their own soul? So um, I didn't really realize this until I had a few instances in my life where my best friend, she... Um, I, if you're watching Nicole, I'd like to give a shout out to Nicole Weeder. Um, my best friend, she actually started this website called projectinspired.com. Oh my God. And actually right with her, we reach 600,000 girls a month and we talk to teenagers about, um, you know, how to live out your faith, how to live out purity, um, dating tips. We talk about should you date or should you court? Mm -hmm. And um, so basically she had basically um, a, a very very hard trial in her life and she could have basically died and so when I led her back to the Lord um, in the midst of that I was going to Christian college and the Lord had turned my life completely around wow. I got out of partying wow. I stopped singing secular music I broke up with my boyfriend of five years I stopped partying and hanging out with the wrong people and God just woke me up on a pier one night I was out with a friend after work um, we worked at a restaurant mm. and this man of God said I see <clears throat> records 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 the guy you're with is not for you. God's going to bring you a man your same spiritual level. And the Lord's a nice, and he said, the Lord sees, you know, showing me all these people you're going to reach because of your youth, because of your beauty, you're going to reach many for the Lord. And I didn't even know. I wasn't even working with TBN at the time. This was in 2008. I threw a fleece to God. I said, if you want to use me for your kingdom, God, I need you to help me. I need your supernatural strength and peace to let go of the old lifestyle and to bring in the new. Even though I had a faith walk with the Lord, I was a lukewarm Christian and the Lord did it. He heard my prayer and he said, come out and be clean and be separate and I shall receive you. He heard my prayer and he show, showed up and I, I knew that night my, li my life would never be the same. And that night I did grieve, I did cry. And my, my best sister in Christ, um, she's like um, a sister slash mentor to me. Her name is Alvina. She is going to be my music manager. If I ever, um, if my music ever blows up, I always say she's going to be my music manager. But she was there. She's a witness. She saw my best friend, Nicole, get saved. She saw me get a, a part of TBN's network. She saw the everything that's going on with the radio show that the Lord has allowed me to be a part of. And she said, God is amazing. She always says, the master has the master plan. Mm. And so I can tell you something. When you give God something so precious to you, whether it's a relationship, come whether on, it's, you know, friendships that were just mm. toxic, God's going to give you back double. And the Lord started to invite me, you know, I would get invited to different industry Bible studies where I would meet other songwriters and I would see other um, Christian actors and singers and the Lord said I'm raising up a remnant in these days and they will be part of the army of God to raise up a, a remnant of people in Hollywood and they will it will be called Hollywood the Lord gave me the word Hollywood mm. And he said, and I see them going forward with their sword, shield, and buckler. He told me this in 2008, and I said, Lord, where is the army? I don't see them. I'm the, like, flickering light. When I'd go out, I would still minister to people, actors and producers, and I would, you know, it was still, you know, it was still a light, even if I went to the nightclub. But the Lord said, come out and be clean, be separate. So now that come I'm on. out of it, now God can put me back in it because now I can actually be a light, and I'm not tempted by the world because God took the taste out of my mouth. God said, no more. I'm using you for my glory. And now it's really cool because God trusts me now to put me back. And now I sing um, for secular television. I'm doing undercover worship songs. And I got to write about like 140 songs within this last year, okay. which is totally the Lord. Well, you, you've, already, well you've already <laughs> answered one of my questions. I was going to ask you about new songs. And oh, you're yeah. already 140 ahead. Glory to God. But they're, but they're jingles. <laughs> they're not full songs. So okay. I don't want anyone thinking that's like a lot, a lot of songs. That's but a lot of yeah, songs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they're like short songs, like 30 seconds. But... You know, and they're on major networks. Um, some are submitted for MTV, Bravo, a lot of channels that need that clear stream, which God's about to do. The Lord said he's going to raise up new voices, new leaders, new actors, new films, new scripts, new books, mm. new albums. And that is the word Hollywood. It doesn't mean 
Hollywood is holy, but the Lord started, started to show me the vision, and that's when I started my blog, The Hollywood Scoop, where I document all the Christian media on there. Wow. How can they connect with you? How they, can they connect with they you? They can go to christygivens.com, or the easiest thing is facebook.com slash christygiven, Christ with an I, G-I-V-E-N. And you guys can find me, um, if you want to see my YouTube videos, go to youtube.com slash thechristygiven. And also, if you want to download my song, The Other Side, Amazing Grace, it's on iTunes, it's on Apple Music, it's on Spotify. And I just pray that God blesses you. And if you want... You know, if you want me to send you a CD, I'd love to bless you with my first EP, Let Us Worship. So you guys can just message me on Facebook or Instagram, and I'm going to send you a CD. I want to bless you, whoever's watching. Mm. I want to bless you with the CD. God has a purpose and calling for your life. God Come wants on. to use you. Come God on. has a purpose before you, even your mother's womb. He wanted to use you before the foundations of the earth. And we are not, you know, perfect. God says, I call... Um, you know, I call you, you know, he equips the called, amen? He doesn't call the equipped, That's right. he equips, he the, equips called. the called. Even our trials, even in our losses, it's a training ground. It's a training ground, it's a testing of our faith. And it's just like Abraham and Isaac, I gave a lot of things so precious to me, but in return, I got back so much to win souls for Christ in the kingdom of God is such a high honor through worship, through music, through radio, through television. It's mm. such an honor to be here today. I could talk with Look you probably this. for another hour. Look at this. And I wish we had another hour, but I tell you what we do have. We can get into 32 nations in almost 32 minutes. Thank you because of that. Christina, come over here. We're going to, um, the cameraman, we have these prayer requests that's been from different, uh, has called in from different networks, and we're believing the Lord. Yeah. And you know what? I know the Lord will visit you. Yes, Lord There's Jesus. all kinds of requests, financial Thank issues, you, uh, uh, physical people. issues, spiritual issues, yes, personal Jesus. issues. And we're believing the God of glory, the God of this creation, will visit his people. You know, what we can do that takes us, God can do it in a second. I want you to believe God right now. Father, in the name of Jesus, I come to you right now. Me and your servant, Christine, right now, we come to you. We pray for every person here, every, every request, Lord, that every need will be answered according to your riches and glory. We pray right now, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Christina, what's the word the Lord giving you? Thank you, Yeshua. Thank you, Lord God. I just thank you for every precious person that wrote in and that is watching the show right now. Lord, you know every hair on their head. You ever, you know every need, God, every financial need, every worry. And God, in Matthew 5, you say, do not worry, for I feed the birds of the air. Are you not more important than they? O oh, ye of little faith, I clothe the, the valleys and the fields with green grass and flowers. I will provide for you. I will feed you. Do not worry about what you will eat or drink or what you will That's wear. It. That's what the pagans worry about. That means the non-believer. Right. But right. we're believers. We know Yeshua, Hamashiach, yeah. Jesus Christ of Nazareth is our king. And he is our Lord. And God our Father is the provider. He is Jehovah. Yes, so we thank you that every need, God, you know every need before it comes out of our lips. And you're going to touch each person. Yes, each God. prayer request here is so important and precious right. to you. It we is. submit it to you in Jesus' in name. In Jesus' Amen. name. And I thank want you to you believe God. the Lord. He will answer you. And also, he doesn't want to just answer your prayer. But he also want to bring you into his kingdom. Saints people that are watching for the very first time. Jesus paid a price he never owed, and we owe a price we could never pay. We could never pay it. He's calling you right now. Thank you, God. He's calling you right now into his kingdom, into his family. You can be a part of the family of Christ right now by calling on his name. It's Jesus. Jesus, come into my life. I believe you're the son of God, that you died for me and you rose for me. Put my name in the Lamb's book of life. Fill me with your Holy Spirit. I'm on, Lord, I'm yours. I belong to you. I renounce every wicked work of the devil yes. in my life right now. Yes, Lord Jesus. Lord, I'm yours. If you prayed that with all your heart, you, you've been saved. You've been born again. I want to thank you for each and every one of you. I want to thank my wonderful guests. We're going to see you next time. 
You know how to get a hold of us, megapraiseministries.com. We have our 24-7 prayer line. We call that. Wow. We, we look forward to seeing you next week. We're going we're gonna, to you know, have you on again. We're going to have Christina on again. Yes. Christina on again. I would love and, that. And we're just going to have a great time. We love you. Once I said before, I said again, the good news is you don't have to be part of the bad news. Bye-bye. Love you. Bye. God bless you.